Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm making a video that has nothing to do with fragrances or anything else like that. As a matter of fact, a few minutes ago, I was in bed trying to sleep. Um, I got really sleepy earlier and I wanted to take a nap during the middle of the day on this beautiful Sunday. But as soon as I laid my head down, God put something on my heart that he wanted me to do. And to be honest, I tried to ignore him, but that didn't work out too well for me because every minute he put more and more pressure on me to do what he wants me to do or what he, he, he convicted my heart to get up and do this. And that's exactly what I'm going to do because I knew he wouldn't let up. And I love him for that. Um, let me give you a little bit of history first. When I was very young, um, somebody, a friend of the family gave me a Bible. It's King James Bible. Neither of my parents were Christian or believed in God. Um, my two sisters and my brother were not Christians, and I don't think they believe in God. I think my one sister might, but uh, I would sort of consider I'm the only one in my immediately immediate family to be Christian. Um, so there was not really any Bibles in the house, but I think a friend of the family wanted me to have a Bible. I think God put something on his heart to give me a Bible. Back then, um, most of the Bibles were King James Bible. Most of the pastors in the churches preached from King James Bible. Um, most people had King James Bible. That's, that's what it was back in the day. That was your standard Bible was the King James Bible. So I got a King James Bible when I was very young. Um, from then to the next... 40, 50 years, um, I had collected a few different translations of the Bible. Um, I, I wish I still had that, that King James Bible that was given to me when I was really young. I don't know what happened to it. But over the next, you know, 40, 45 years, I bought a few different translations of Bibles. I got um, an NIV Bible, an NASB Bible, a couple of other different translations and variations of the Bible. And I always thought that every Bible was the same. That's what I thought. I didn't think anything about it. Um, the only thing I knew was every once in a while somebody would, a committee would come out with a different Bible and it was supposed to be easier to read. And it was supposed to be a better translation than the King James. The old-fashioned Bible it's supposed to be easier to read. New, modern, up-to-date version of the Bible, which I didn't think about. I didn't think about that too much. It was just like, okay, it's easy to read. I'll go ahead and get it. About five years ago, I was on YouTube and a video popped up on my YouTube feed. And I thought it was weird because I never heard of Gail Ripplinger. I never heard of the term New Age Bible versions. I never heard of that. I never Googled anything like that before. So I thought it was weird that that just popped up just out of the blues, like something completely different than what usually pops up on my YouTube feed. It's usually bands or something like that. But this popped up, and I thought that was sort of weird. Um, I don't think it's weird now. I know why it happened now. I do. But something told me to watch that. So I did. And it was this lady named Gail Ripplinger that was talking about the differences between a King James Bible and all the other Bibles, like the NIV and NASB, and all the Bibles, the new Bibles that's come out in the last 20 or 30 years. And I listened to her, 
and after about 10 minutes, I was like, I was just like blown away by the differences in the King James and all the other versions. Just in, in the first 10 minutes, I was like, I can't believe I've been, I can't believe I've been reading these Bibles because she explained about, um, you know, the NIV and NASB and stuff like that. Some of the most important verses, words, and scripture in the entire Bible have been taken out or twisted. Like some of the things about salvation have been taken out or twisted to mean something completely different. Some of the things about the Trinity has been taken out. Um, the word Savior and Jesus and God have been taken out a lot of different times and have been replaced with him or something like that. And I just couldn't believe what she was saying. She, she actually was showing videos of the differences. I wanted to find out for myself. So I went out and I actually went to Barnes and Nobles, went to their humongous Bible section to, to get a, a King James. And I think there were two in the, in that entire humongous Bible section. Everything else was all the new modern translations, mainly the NIV. But I did find one, King James, so I bought it, took it home, opened it up, started watching Gail's video. I had my NIV next to my new King James and the NASB. And I was actually doing research myself while I was listening to her and physically looking at the differences. And I was just in shock about some of the things that they've twisted in some of the new Bible versions and some of the things that they have taken out of the Bible. And it's terrifying that a lot of people do not know about this. So over the last five years, every once in a while when God would put it on my heart, I would make a post about it on Facebook. And very, very few people that saw it would say anything about it. I think a lot of people didn't want to see it. And the people that did comment, it was usually a negative thing. It was usually people telling me that I was wrong or that wanted to debate me about it or argue with me about it. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to debate it or argue about it. Um, I was actually showing proof about the differences but I don't, I really don't think people want to know about it. And I can actually understand that it's hard to, it's hard to think about, you know, I've been reading this Bible my entire life and all of a sudden somebody's telling me that my Bible is corrupt. I can understand why people might get mad or upset or not want to see it. I understand that because I was there myself. I thought all these new versions were the same myself. But I didn't take offense to her. I actually listened to her and did research myself. And I had an open mind going into it. And I realized that she was right. A lot of these Bibles are not of God. That's my opinion. And I think it's her opinion too. So God put it on my heart a little while ago. He was like, you need to get up and do this for me. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to put Gail Ripplinger's, it's called, she's, she's done part one and part two, it's called New Age Bible Versions Part One by Gail Ripplinger. I'm going to put part one and part two in the description, um, and if you want to look at it, it's available in the description. If you do not want to look at it, that's up to you. Um, God wants me to do this. I know this. I know this to be the truth, without a doubt. I know it to be the truth, and I know God wants me to do this. Um, so it's up to you what you do. Just like when I found out I had free will to do what I wanted to do, I could ignore it, 
disagree with it or accept it and do something about it. I decided to accept it and do something about it. So I got myself a good King James Bible and that's the only thing I read. I still have my NIV and my NASB, but I do not read them. I actually keep them because if, if anybody comes to me and I happen to get in a conversation about this, I can actually literally show them the difference between King James and all these other Bibles because I have all the Bibles and I can show them, physically show them um, what the new Bibles are all about. Um, I recommend everybody watch at least part one. I think it's like an hour long. And if you have an open mind and you believe this, I recommend if you don't already have one to get a King James Bible. I've gotten several different King James Bible over the years. And so far, my favorite one that I like the best is called um, Holy Bible King James Version Reference Edition. And it's by a company called Hendrickson. Um, Hendrickson Publishing. It's this. I have several of, of these. This is my go-to. This is the one I read daily. Um, it's like a study Bible, basically what it is. It's a reference Bible, but it's like a study Bible. It has all kinds of good stuff in here. Um, for those of you that think, which I used to think this, for those of you think that the King James Bible is hard to read and all these other versions are easier to read, that is not true. Because when I first got my King James Bible and started to read it, the first couple of days, it was, it was sort of weird because they used different words, thee and thou and stuff like that. But after a few days... It became normal for me. And now if I read anything from the NIV or NASB or any other Bible, like if I read something on the internet by that, that seems weird to me. And now the King James Bible is so normal to me. And all the other versions are not normal. It just seems weird to read any other version. Because now I'm used to reading the King James Bible and it makes so much sense to me. So if you think it's, it's harder to understand and harder to read, it might be for a couple of days. But after that, it's like normal. It's like this is what the Bible is supposed to be. That's my opinion anyway. So um, I recommend just like, if nothing else, just pray about it and let God talk to you about it. So anyway, I love you guys, and I just had to do this. I just had to do this video because I know it was the right thing to do, and I know he wanted me to do it, so here it is. I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Peace.